life is about evolution. Mm -hmm. Everything that begins mm -hmm. also has to end. Mm -hmm. Just as I told you mm -hmm. that what I told my dad, mm -hmm. if I didn't do music, I would be unfair to myself. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm telling people in the music industry now, mm -hmm. if I don't do engineering, mm -hmm. I would also be very unfair to myself. Let me tell you, okay, I was a relatively good student in school, mm -hmm. you know, and throughout my education life, I've always had relatively good results, mm -hmm. you know, and that was something I said, even when I was leaving college, I said to myself, okay, I'm going to pursue music now, but at some stage, I want to pursue engineering. You know, in life, mm -hmm. you cannot just be stuck in one place forever. Mm -hmm. You have to evolve. I'm sure you want to be beyond here someday. Definitely. You know? And I want to evolve. I lived my music dream. Mm -hmm. You know, I lived it. Mm -hmm. Now, I, it's not like I lay in my bed and I'm like, oh, my career. No. Mm -hmm. I lived it. I'm satisfied. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, you know, now I don't have that passion anymore. I don't, when I lay in bed, I think about something else. Mm -hmm. You know? And my wife has even told me, why don't you... I'm like, in all honesty, it's not there for me anymore. I, I won't even lie to you. So yeah. I, I, I will not have any open mic anymore? I'm not saying we're not going to have it, but if I were to find the right people to collaborate with, mm -hmm. I would gladly do it. I, you know, you don't want to build something and let it just die. Okay. But I also have to be honest with myself. Mm -hmm. The passion is not there for me to be running, doing all that running I used to do, okay. you know, going in the streets. Like I told you earlier, before we went on air, mm -hmm. by 10 p.m., mm -hmm. I'm in bed oh, sleeping, sleepy. you know. Look at the gray hair on my beard, man. <laughs> you know, I'm an old man now. I want to do something else in my life. Okay. I feel like I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish in music. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to come home to do music in mm -hmm. the Gambia, and I did that. Mm -hmm. I did, you know, some of the people that I worked with in America, mm -hmm. when I tell them some of the things I've done in music in Gambia, some of them don't even believe me. They're like, really, you did all that? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, we did. I mean, when I tell them I, I had a radio show, I, ha I had a TV show, you know, I own the club, I have a studio, I own the sound system, I was doing a, one of the biggest events in the Gambia. When I tell them all those things, they don't believe it. So, Wagan, is that any possibility of having the open mic this December? Yes, as I said, if we find the right people to collaborate with. Okay, who do you think? If you're to? interested, let's collaborate. Okay. But you'll have to do all the legwork, you'll have to do all the running. I don't have time to do that running again. Okay. And in all honesty, mm -hmm. you know, uh, as I said, I'm satisfied. Now, when I go to bed, the little money I have, I'm not thinking about investing it in music. Okay. I'm thinking about how do I take my money and invest it into something else. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about now when I go to bed. But what, what, what about your team? Is your team still interested to go ahead with the open mic? Uh, I'm not saying they're not interested, but you also have to have the capacity and the capability. You know, it's not just anything that just anyone can... You know, most of the people, if you realize, most of the people who follow you in music, mm -hmm. they're not actually in it for the work. Mm -hmm. They're more in it for the glitz and the glamour. They feel, oh, the girls hype. are around the mm -hmm. hype. Mm -hmm. they're not, they don't understand it as a job. Mm -hmm. Some of them do not understand that this is a job. Mm -hmm. This is just not some plaything. Mm -hmm. You know, but for them, there's so much hype. You look good, not realizing you look good so someone else can be behind the camera. Mm -hmm. You look good so, you know, someone has to lift the speaker. Mm -hmm. Someone has to press the button in the studio. Mm -hmm. Someone has to practically sleep in the studio mm -hmm. after you make a song mm -hmm. for them, for that song to come out for the public to love it. A lot of people do not realize that. Mm -hmm. That was some of the roles I was playing mm -hmm. in music. Mm -hmm. You know, I was more of a background person, but you know, as I said, I lived my dream. Okay, well, if someone is watching us right now and yeah. they want to link you and then make sure Open Mic is back, you know, what did he need to do? Just link me. I'm easy to find in Gambia. Man. Okay. <laughs> well, you link fabulous. I always look at this link, link fabulous. Definitely. You, like, you know I don't avoid calls. Any, yeah. Anyone can call me. Uh -huh. 
I'm one of those people. Everyone has my number. People call me and tell me some of the silliest things, and I still hold my phone and I listen to them. You know, I'll just be like, ah, no, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Like really, um, I don't want the open mic to die, and I don't want most of the artists, either. most of the artists I interview on my show, I bring this question to them. What do you think about the open mic? Most of them say, oh, it shouldn't die. It has to come back. I, have to come I back. don't. But also, realize one thing: in mm -hmm. 2019, we were trying to grow. Mm -hmm. We Two were, events. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were trying to grow beyond what we, you know, mm -hmm. when you have something and you're doing something for 10 years, mm -hmm. after a while you start getting bored. Mm -hmm. You know, you want more Make and bigger and, and improve. Yeah. And do the we wanted things. to grow. The people did not want to see that growth. Mm -hmm. That's not my fault. And I'm not mad at anyone mm -hmm. because no one owes you, just as I don't owe people either. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't owe people my life. And but people don't owe me there. Don't you think those two days um, led to the collapse of the open mic? Well, if that's it, I have no regrets. Mm -hmm. Because I also, like I said, mm -hmm. I'm one of those people when I need to do something, mm -hmm. I have to do it. Regardless, it's not just about money for me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to live my dreams. That's, that's something about me. When I lay down, I don't, I don't want to regret like, oh, am I only doing this because of money? What if it fails? If it fails, it fails. You move okay. on in well, life. I, I, I did engineering um, now, since that is the course you started. I've, I've been doing engineering, okay. yes. Okay. Where, where, where do you do that? Well, I have, uh, I'm running my family business. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, who's your favorite artist? Right now? Yes. Gambian or in Gambia, Gambia, Gambia. Make sure me five of your favorite Gambian, yes. Gambian, five. Gambian, Gambian. EQ's in the house, so you are <laughs> <laughs> You better say his name. And, and you know, I knew EQ since back in the day. Get away this day, you know what I mean? Get away this. You know, and he was my boy, we used to link them back then. Okay. You know, uh, right, right, right now, man. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I don't keep up as much, mm -hmm. but I've always liked uh, someone like OG Lo, mm -hmm. uh, A2. Mm -hmm. I, I love A2 stuff, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Attack just has a great sense of humor. Mm -hmm. His music, when I listen to this, his music, is just really, really humorous and fun, nice. You know, um, Mass Murder. Mm -hmm. I like Mass Murder. Yeah, that boy is good. He's, man, I, good. you know, but the public, you mm -hmm. know. And, uh, but besides that, uh, I mean, there are a lot I like. Bobo Dimo. Royal Messenger, mm -hmm. um, what's his name, um, Jali Mahdi, mm -hmm. man, you know, so I've been leaning more towards music like that, Barhama, mm -hmm. I've been leaning more towards mm -hmm. music I can chill with, I, I want to chill with my wife and listen to music, you know, I, don't, I cannot chill with my wife and I'm like, uh, you know, full <laughs> package, you know, I can't listen to that with my well, wife. I have I lots of questions for you, but I'm just looking at the time. I have to bring it in. Man, yeah. but before you go, I have to ask you this question. Yeah. What do you think about the event clash? Uh, Today we are having three events that are clashing. Well, okay. I think in a well-established industry, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. But in Gambia, mm -hmm. we make an, an issue. Mm -hmm. But this is what I say, and I saw Pisces write it as well. Mm -hmm. If you guys love Gambian music so much, mm -hmm. make all three of them pop. Okay. Then that, that's when I know, okay, Gambian music is big. But do you think that's possible to have all these three, course, three events pop? Yo, what's the population of Gambia? Mm. What's the population of the youth in Gambia? We have, okay, just in the uh, Greater Banjul, we have close to how many hundred thousand youth, at least 200,000 youth mm -hmm. who can put, possibly go to these events. Mm -hmm. Couldn't each event have five to ten thousand people is that impossible of course i don't think it is one event can have twenty thousand people so why can't you split those twenty thousand to three different events and each will have five six seven eight thousand but like most of the people are thinking that one event will flop tonight i hope not okay but that's what i'm saying it's also on the people mm -hmm. if you love it that much mm -hmm. prove it Go out and, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Okay, well then, finally, let me say, do you have any viewers out there watching you? I mean, let's keep pushing Gambian music, uh, mm -hmm. just because Wagan is not as active, mm -hmm. you know, but as you said, we handed over the baton. We did something, mm -hmm. and that's, that's what life is about also. Progress is not just about one person doing the job, mm -hmm. but you build it up to here, mm -hmm. another set will come and take it beyond. Now you guys are taking it 
beyond where we even imagined. Mm -hmm. Now, how many TV shows mm -hmm. are on? Now, every radio station you tune into, mm -hmm. the um, Gambian music events. Mm -hmm. Now, how many events are being held at the stadium? Mm -hmm. Q City, mm -hmm. all of these things, Benjamin, you know, so, Jamal. yeah, and they're all being filled up. Mm -hmm. So that's progress, mm -hmm. you know. It's time for me also mm -hmm. to go move on to other things. I, I think, I mean, we, we let the audience to suppose that promised land, let me not call it the promised land, but mm -hmm. a vision of the promised land, mm -hmm. they have to get there themselves now. I mean, it's, unfortunately, I cannot get there with them. Mm -hmm. My promised land is somewhere else. Okay. Thank you so much, um, Wagan, for coming to Makoto Bubala. Any time I call this guy, I need an interview, he will say, okay, fix what? So I can fix it and call me. He's always ready to come and talk to the people out there. I really appreciate that. And he have done a whole lot for Gambian music. Definitely the industry will look very, look very, look very. This platform was the biggest ever in the country. So we say, take Gambian artists, I'm fit, and we put them in the stadium. It's because of this guy you're seeing here right now. Thank you so much. You have done a whole lot for the Gambian and the music entertainment. And now we appreciate.